Yo guys, how is it going? I hope everyone is having a brilliant day today. Welcome to episode 29 of our Bordeaux career mode here on FIFA 18. In today's episode, we start with the Europa League semi-final first leg at home to Spanish side Sevilla. And then we end it in Ligue 1 away at Set Etienne. We are coming to the business end of the league campaign and we are still in with a shout of lifting the title. But we are struggling to pick up wins at the moment, especially in April probably one of the worst if not the worst month of the season so far one win out of those five league games not great especially coming to the business end of the season when you're fighting for the title but let's put our league troubles behind us for now let's get into the first leg of the Europa League semi-final at home to Sevilla obviously the main aim in this game oh my god I didn't mean for that to rhyme but the main aim in this match against Sevilla is to keep a clean sheet we don't want to make it more difficult for ourselves against a very very good team so let's get going in the first leg try and pick up a good result to take to Spain for the second leg Navas on the right hand side, plays it short here to Ricardo Pereira, edge of the box now is Nzonzi, a little 1-2 between the two players, back into the full back, is he going to whip it across, he does, all on his own, Nolito, where the hell is my right back, I'm speechless, I am speechless of how open Nolito was, 19 minutes gone, Sevilla get an all important away goal, Look, where the hell is Gaich? He's there next to number 14 on the penalty spot. It's a very good header as well. Keeper, no chance. Sevilla, 1 0. Nelito with his first goal in the Europa League this season. Maita on the ball, forward to Camano. First time into Vader. Can we go up the other end and equalise straight away? No, we can't. Sevilla, all of a sudden, look at this play, but thankfully we do intercept. Right hand side now is Diego Roland, now Cafu. Can we go up the other end now and grab the equalising goal? No, because again, it's a very good interception from a Sevilla player. Wow, okay, Otavio doing what Otavio does best, intercepting play. Cafu, Vader, first time into Diego Roland, right-hand side now is Otavio. Overlap from the fullback. Guys, look at the space, we're going to whip it to the back post. What a cross, Camano is waiting. But Ricardo Pereira gets the danger away for a corner. 26 minutes gone. Can we equalise the game here and now? No, we can't because Ricardo Pereira with a brilliant defensive header. Pizarro plays it through here to Ben Yedda, who is isolated. Every time they get the ball to him, he is isolated, surrounded by blue shirts. But it's not been a problem for them as of yet because he's been holding the ball up pretty damn well. 31 minutes gone and before going 1-0 down... We were the much better team, but since going 1-0 down, Sevilla have taken over this game. Base with a good tackle, short into Cafu. Right, can we go up the other end now before the break and equalise the game? Going to play it down line to Diego Roland, but as you can see, no support at the moment. It's arriving at the back post in Camano. Going to wait and cross it now. Camano is arriving. Wasn't the best of clearances from Ricardo Pereira. Just got something on it, and somehow Navas has kept that in very, very well and got it to a teammate unbelievable 10 minutes before the break and it looks as though i know there's 10 minutes left to play in game time until half time but it looks as though we are going to go into the break one nil down or maybe two nil down the leto hits the side netting wow severe at the moment since going one nil up are so so dangerous Otavio, oh, sliding tackle comes in, but thankfully it totally avoided the baldo man short into diego land back through here to vader Oh my god, I just cannot seem to break him down. Like I said before this game, Sevilla, a very, very strong team in this competition. So it's going to be a very tough ask to get through to the Europa League final. And it's looking that way, to be honest. Ben Yedda with a great turn and another great turn. Ben Yedda! Two minutes before the break and I thought that was 2-0. Oh my god, what a great bit of play from the striker. Two great turns and then nearly sneaks in to that far corner for 2-0 but thankfully it looks as though we're going into the break 1-0 down 
Otavio into Cafu, going to play it down line to Diego Alan, going to hold it up and wait for Cafu to continue his run, okay? He made it very, very slowly. That is kind of annoying, but Maita, left-hand side now is Kamano, going to try and get it through here to Vader. Uh, once again, a white shirt is in the way, and I think that is going to wrap up the first 45 minutes. Navas has been so good on that right-hand side. Come on, ref, I actually want the half I'm begging for the half-time whistle. There it is, thank God. Oh. Right, I can breathe. I'm going to take a five-minute break and come back to this game because I have been dreadful since going 1-0 down. So maybe a little break will change the game for me. Sevilla moving forward, playing some very good football in the opening stages of the second half. And can Diego Milan get on the end of that clearance? No, he can't. Oh, my God. It looks as though it's going to continue. The frustration is going to continue into the second half. Across into the back post. Navas, 2-0. 50 minutes gone. And what the hell was my defender doing? I think I was controlling him and I was spamming circle for him to clear it. And he just, it looked as though he didn't know what the hell he was doing. I have to see a replay. It's a brilliant cross to the back post. And it's actually a brilliant finish there. Who is that? Is that Pounge? Yeah, it's Pounge. What is he doing? Look, what is he doing? It's a brilliant finish from Navas. His second Europa League goal of the season. And to be honest... 2-0, and it's two ridiculously poor goals to concede. Maita, short into Vader, back through to Maita maybe, it's not worked out. Ben Yedder's going to pick up the loose ball. He's surrounded by blue shirts, but look how well he's doing. Out to Navas, one of the goal scorers, dribbling the ball very, very well. Plays it to the right-hand side. This is a great play from Sevilla. Navas, one-on-one -on -one with Costil, basically, and it's a very good save. Poor finish, to be honest. Should have done better. He should have buried that for 3-0, and... If it's 3-0, I'm going to say it's game over, to be honest. But Sevilla, with the first corner of the second half, are they going to triple their lead? It's a decent delivery. Maita gets the danger away only as far as Navas with the scissor kick. And thankfully, in the end, a simple save for Costil. Camano on the ball, forward to Diego Valant, onto his right foot. Running through the middle is Cafu, surely for 2-1. Cafu, great save. Open goal here for Diego Valant. But Pizarro, with a brilliant bit of defending... I was ready to smash that into the back of the net for 2-1. Correa on the left-hand side for Sevilla. Short into Ben Yedder. Again, doing very well. But thankfully, Maita that time was just a bit too strong for him. Left-hand side is Camano. Diego Valan. Oh, it's a beautiful scoop turn. Left-hand side is Camano. But Diego Valan is going to do it all on his own and give the ball away. Ben Yedder, this is good play from Sevilla. And thankfully... They give the ball straight to a blue shirt. Here we go. Going to play it through to Vader. Oh, what a pass. Kamano, make that run. Kamano, make that run. Yes. Can we grab a goal back in this game? A curler to the top corner gets deflected. I should have looked for a pass. I shouldn't have shot. 15 minutes left to play. And you know what? The last 5, 10 minutes or so, I've actually been good going forward. And here we go. We've won the ball back straight away into Vader. Back through to Maita. Is it going to work out? Yes, it is. Short into Diego Valan. Going to turn it onto his right foot. Smash it to goal. He just didn't turn. I wanted him to turn, but he just didn't turn properly or turn enough. Look. Oh, my God. That is so frustrating. 13 minutes gone. And we are going to make, I think, another sub. We're going to bring Larager on for Vader. Ben Yedda, heavy touch, but he's kept possession once again. Ben Yedda has probably been their best player. Can we make a tackle? Correa into Nzonzi. First time forward, and we've won... Oh, he's offside. I thought it was a free kick. I was about to say, what the hell, ref? What are you talking about? But here we go. I think this might be one of our last chances in this game. Ten minutes left to play. Still quite a bit of time to get a few attacks going. Larragher, right-hand side now is Malcolm. Little back heel into Diego Villan. But it hasn't worked out right. Every time I get the ball now, I'm just going to try and get it out to Malcolm. He's obviously very good and he's got fresh legs. So I think he, at the moment, is going to be our biggest chance of grabbing a goal back in this game. Through here to Diego Vlan. Where's Malcolm? Where's Malcolm? He's making a move. But look at Maita through the middle. First time finish. And the defender with a very important block. There's the full-time whistle in the first leg of the semi-final and Sevilla are taking a 2-0 lead back to Spain. I can't say anything else apart from they were bloody brilliant and fully deserved the win. But on to the next one we go, which is in Ligue 1 against Setien. Let's get three points and keep our title hopes alive.
few of many. Forward here to Larager. Opens it up onto his right foot. Going to spread the play to the right hand side in Cafu. Overlap from Karik. Obviously a very changed up team because we've got a very important game coming up on Thursday with the second leg against Sevilla. And we are trailing 2-0. So it's an absolutely massive game. So I thought I'd change the team up here against Setien. Obviously we're not doing great in the league at the moment. But I'm still confident even with a changed up team of picking up the three points. Here we go into Chuameni. Open up onto his right foot. But it's a good tackle from the opposition player, Hernani, I think it was. I'm not quite sure. Are they going to break away and have the first attack of the game? Decent ball out to the left-hand side in Cabea. Back into Hernani, I think it was. Now Haller on the left-hand side. Whips and across. Ten minutes gone. And it's been a bit of a scrappy game, to be honest. Not been the best of opening ten minutes. But here we go. The first corner of the game is coming for the home team. Are they going to break the deadlock? It's a very good delivery. It falls here to Jovanovic. He gets the danger away. And the clearance actually falls to Larager. Right. Patient player. Don't want to rush. I do not want to rush. I think the first goal in this game is going to be very important. If we get it, it's going to give me so much confidence of actually picking up the three points. And here we go. To the left-hand side into Ha. Obviously not played. A couple of these players not played that many games this season, to be honest. Chuameni into St. Care. Back into Chuameni. To his left-hand side is D. Prevail with the long-range effort. And it's comfortably past the post. 15 minutes gone. And that is the first shot away at goal. Good tackle from Chuameni to the left-hand side. It's not the best of passes. And Villa, a long ball out to the left-hand side. And Pelnard with a very decent interception. Here we go to Ha. Can we break away and get the first real chance of the game? To Ha charging towards the defence. Short into deep reveal. Who's going to make me a decent run? To Ha has continued his run. He's charging into the box. On his left foot, referee. That has to be a penalty. He cut across me and cut off my run and blocked me off. How the hell... I'm not sure if it was actually in the box or not, but surely that has to be a foul. But we've one possession back to hard. Decent ball through here to Deeperville. Running through the middle is Larager. And Villa gets the danger away. Can't believe that wasn't a foul. I really, like I said, I'm not sure if it was 100% in the box, but it should have been a foul. Larager backwards here to Pelnard. Loads of space here for Sankher. Edge of the box is many, but Villa once again... Gets in the way. He has been their best player. Every time I try to get through the middle. And look at the space here for Cabello on the left-hand side. Through the middle here to Haller. But thankfully, Anthony, the young centre-back, has done very well. Used his strength very, very well. But yeah, every time I try and get through the middle, Mvia is just in the way all the time. Cabello on the left-hand side. For Set Etienne. A cross goes into the back post. A header towards goal. And Lamella has made it 1-0 three minutes before the break. Totally against the run of play. Both teams haven't been that great. But I'd say we've just about edged it. 42 minutes gone. And should the goalkeeper be doing better? I'm not 100% sure. It's a very good deep cross. And once again. I'm controlling Anthony who goes jumping in. But Pelnard the left back. Does absolutely nothing. And no it's a very very good header. Cost still no chance. Three minutes before the break. Setien have taken the lead. Larager forward to deep reveal out to the right hand side and Cafu is not going to work out and we are not going to keep possession and Villa plays it straight to Chuameni very good interception Larager into deep reveal going to hold it up and wait for support to arrive going to play it backwards to St. Care forward to Larager no it's gone into the right hand side and Cafu decent little ball into deep reveal back through to Cafu it's worked out absolutely brilliantly Cafu and it's over the crossbar what a start to the second half that would have been it's a great move as well Lovely little back heel from Deeperville into Cafu. And he should be at least hitting the target. Cabello on the left-hand side. Spreads it to the right-hand side. An hour played. And in a moment, the next dead ball situation. I am going to make one or two subs. I'm not 100% sure. Set Etienne on the move forward. Hauler cuts inside. Back onto his right foot. Back onto his left foot. Twisting and turning. A cross goes in. And it's a corner for the home side. Right, who do we have on the bench? Do you know what? I'm going to do it. Diego Valland on for deep reveal. And I think on the left-hand side for Taha, Malcolm. Hopefully, what a double sub that is. So hopefully, they can change the game for us. 64 minutes gone. From the corner they go. It's not the best of deliveries. And we do get the danger half away. Only as far as a green shirt. And Malcolm with his first involvement in the game. Wins possession back straight away. And wins a free kick. Right. 
65 minutes gone and like I said hopefully Diego Roland and Malcolm at least one of them is going to change the game for us surely they are both great players Diego Roland out to the right hand side what a pass into Cafu great first touch as well surely across the keeper for one one great save open goal for Malcolm and in the end a simple save for the goalkeeper oh my god they've had an impact on the game straight away Cafu on the right hand side into Diego Roland going to hold up the ball and try and find someone on the left hand side St. Kerr now into Malcolm running through the middle is Diego Roland but the pass just got intercepted 20 minutes left to play and to be honest I really I know I've just made a double sub and they've had a good impact on the game already but I really don't see us picking up any points in this game Cabello with the header and thankfully it's going to fall only to a white shirt here we go Let's get another attack going. Larager into Diego Valan. Right hand side is Cafu. Back into Diego Valan. Now Larager maybe. It's worked out nicely. Running through the middle is Malcolm. One on one with the goalkeeper. Malcolm! Oh, it's a brilliant save. Oh my god, how has he saved that? 15 minutes left to play. And I thought that was 1 1. Oh wow. Corner kick incoming from Cafu. Can it be a good delivery? Yes, it can. Jovanovic gets up. And a simple save for the goalkeeper. The game has ended in a 1-0 defeat and we definitely didn't deserve to lose. Malcolm and Diego Roland completely changed the game and we could have had a couple of goals after they came on. Maybe the changed up team cost us but once again it's another frustrating result that should have gone our way. So after that loss against Saint-Étienne, I think it's safe to say the league uh, title is Marseille's. Not 100% confirmed, of course, but it does look like it's theirs. But to be honest, it's still been a very good season and I'm pretty satisfied. It is annoying though, after being on top for the majority of the season, to have a bad run at the end of the campaign and have the title slip away from you. So, so annoying. But we do still have a piece of silverware to fight for and it kicks off the next episode the second leg of the Europa League semi-final in Spain against Sevilla is going to be such a tough ask especially if they play anything like they did in the first leg it is going to be so so difficult but I'm, I'm pretty confident we can pick up a result and get into the Europa League final that would be an absolutely huge achievement so the next episode kicks off with the second leg in the Europa League semi-final away at Sevilla and then ends in Ligue 1 at home to Toulouse so that's going to wrap up today's episode guys I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one thanks so much for watching guys have an amazing day peace